Okay, we're back in the game, and the game is Medieval 2 Total War with the Zardom's Total War mod, uh, version 2.2, I think. And we're doing an Austrian campaign. Alright, uh, we're now at war with the Bavarians. I think that's my faction leader, Duke Albrecht. He's looking a little unhealthy. He's now 59, but he's got 10 piety, 10 authority. Uh, but only three command, so I'm going to try and boost that. He might get into a battle because there's Duke Ludwig, and the Bavarian faction leader. That would be cool. Um, I remember in vanilla med uh, medieval two having a campaign as the English and um, fighting in the Holy Lands against the uh, Mongolian faction leader and. Uh, it actually came down to a battle, uh, a siege, defence, where the English king killed in personal combat the Mongolian faction leader. Uh, during that battle, the casualties on both sides were at 99%. It was literally the two bodyguard units who were left. All other units have routed. And um, it's one of the most memorable um, memories I ever have. From Medieval 2, seeing the English king killing in personal combat Mongolian faction leader and winning the battle it was an awesome battle many many years ago but I have so many great memories from medieval 2 alright uh, we captured Verona at the end of the last episode it was a rebel settlement uh, we have Albert III he's heading up towards Innsbruck Alright, um, so I think it's an end turn. Oh, our corruption level's up to 6,000 now. It's quite high. We're gonna try and perhaps send a small force up to a bed, uh, Bud Rice. If we can retake that, we'll gift it back to the Bohemians who owned it originally. Uh, the Croatians got wiped out in the last episode. They have a tough starting position and not much territory to work with and if we're not quick the bohemians are going to get wiped out i think they're down to one settlement so we'll try to send some relief their way if we can Well, the Swiss have attacked. They were allied to the Bavarians, and we do need to kill off the Swiss for our victory condition. We don't even have to kill off the Bavarians. We probably have enough territory right now if we just killed off the... Ooh, oh, did you see that? Right there at Freiburg, just as I was talking, that Swiss army went rebel on us. Well, they went rebel on the Swiss. Alright, we're going to accept him because we need extra generals. Alright, he showed up a layback. Uh, we got 4,000. Alright. Maybe I'll make up. But yeah, did you see that? The Swiss army attacked Freiburg and then they went rebel on. So, it's not under siege anymore. They did besiege one of our little forts down there. But yeah, we got lucky there. Really lucky. Yeah, I was saying we don't even need to wipe out the Bavarians because the victory conditions require us to wipe out the Swiss and we need 15 regions. And I think, don't we have all of those already? Uh, we need Innsbruck, so we do need to go up there with Albert III and he can reach them. Well, he looks like he can reach them. No, oh, he ran into. Oh, he ran into some bastard Milanese who are blocking us. Oh, was that inconvenient or what? Alright. Really inconvenient. We need to get this general out, I think. Alright, there's actually extra units there. Yeah. 
Sudermont Siege, Freiburg, but no more. No more. Right, we do have a diplomat who's about to talk to cowmans. Uh, we already have trade with those. We'll get map info. Yeah, we really got lucky there, didn't we? Right. Yep, Swiss. Alright. Well, I doubt if the Swiss are going to be attacking us. Can you order resolve that one? Right. I don't trust that. Don't trust it. <clears throat> right, four units. Let's take those. Um, let's take them to the bridge. What else do we have? You. We have a lot of the units there. Uh, that new general. Where did we get him? Ooh, there's a lot of units right there. Alright, where did he show up? That layback. Alright. Come up there. Grab those. Alright. And that's most of an army. Most of an army already. Yeah, grab him, and that one will make a full stack. Okay, we've got a unit in there. I think let's push him. Let's push him. I know there's a force there that's coming down as well. Hmm. Oh, there's the assassin that we want. Right. They're probably going to come down to threaten Linz. Some more units together. Alright, we've got a town ready to upgrade, and it's Linz, and we do want that one to upgrade so we can get some better walls in. Good, good, good. Alright, that was so we can get the assassin. That will give us a lot. That will give us Burgundian archers, which can put down stakes, and Flemish pikemen. It is rather expensive. I mean, we can afford it, but I was hoping it's building economy. Well, we've got fairly good ra um, road networks. Let's get some artillery. Still going to make some money. <coughs> Let's check on all of our supplies. So next turn we'll have uh, an assassin as well. He's actually in Innsbruck. Yeah, just outside Budweiser. We're in Carinthia. Alright. Well, you can't get past them, so you might as well join up. So we have four. I guess I was trying to rank him up. I 
Okay. Now there's only one unit inside, is it? Yeah, the faction here. Ooh, so that's the faction leader, Duke Ludwig. And the faction here is inside the settlement. Alright, so it's going to be four cav and one infantry. Let's go for it. Because that'll be interesting, won't it? To try and kill their heir and then leader in the same battle. That will be interesting. <clears throat> Activate the Skynet. Right, that's the only unit feeding I can get at the moment. Uh, it's going to be a bit steep. Put you there. Right. I don't want you on that. Right. Take them off. Now they can get on that. Remember, it's only one cavalry unit inside. Right, so we've got one, two, three, four uh, ladders. Right. Yours can I put on there? And we need to see where their reinforcements are going to come in. Alright, they're coming in directly behind us. I just want to get some units inside that settlement and then hold the gates. Who's coming in? There's a heavy infantry. You know, over there. Going into my leader there. Why is he getting shot up so bad? Uh, he got hit by Ritter Nobles. Get him there. Get away. Away. Ooh, he's, my leader is really taking a beating, isn't he? Our ladders are at the balls. My leader is my leader. Right. Who's their infantry unit? Now our siege towers are at the balls. I can't even get back over to the settlement. Too busy. Where's our leader? Only half the enemy force remains. Mm, try to get mine out from there. Right, 
who's coming up behind them? Him over there. Alright, you've gotten up onto the walls, get down, get down, and go after him. Alright, you haven't killed many of their leader. Don't let him get away. Alright, get you down there as well. Going after him. And looks like we killed them off. Shoot him up. Right, you're right on top of those. Why you can't find them? Don't know. Right, you are making progress. in there and uh, kill him. He's down to eight. Right, you're not proving very effective. What I'm going to do, send them into melee. You still can't find out most of the units. Our men have taken control of the castle. Good. Let's see how quickly we can kill them off. We have broken the enemy army. Now it is time to crush the Schweine. Alright. Duke Ludwig is down. He's a goner. Yep. Still trying to get that gate down. Can we just try to push him out? Anyone else coming in? There should be some units coming in. Well, it says you're running, but you're actually not. Alright, go on there, uh, hit them from the flank. Get it down. Ninety six percent. They are slow. Yay. Now get inside. Don't blow your horn.
down to 11 all right we'll just speed that up the outcome is no longer in doubt do like his banner though see if I can zoom in on it that blue and white checkerboard pattern got a golden line on that that's the Teutonic Spears certainly very iconic uh, pattern come on He's going to be the last one to die. He's now the uh, Duke. Because his daddy got killed. Yay! Well, we lost a uh, fifth of our army. But I think it was worth it. Suddenly felt worth it to me. My honor is lost. Ooh, twelve and a half thousand. No. That'd be nice if we could wipe them out by doing that. Right, they look quite happy. And they're bringing in a lot of money, so I'm just going to walk in so we didn't kill them off. And they've got a new leader somewhere. Not up there. Noble. Faction there. No idea where their faction here is then. We should go after him. Uh, he's not in there. Blasted Milanese blocking this. Lost those Milanese. Right. So we have a new castle. It's 8% Judaism in there. Uh, but they don't have the Jewish building. Right. Nothing new in there, really. For chivalry and dread. Right, we are getting extra units in there. Let's see if we can ignore those. We're going to lose the little Habsburg. Well, oh, that's actually the town of Habsburg. Ah, that's where our royal family originated from. Cool. Cool beans. All right. None of these would get out of the way. We can go after Innsbruck. Spreading the Reich's forces. Mm -hmm. Spreading the Reich's forces. We shall spread them all over the top left hand corner of the map. AKA the uh, Northwest. <coughs> Good battle there. Now Milan, what are you doing up there? Unless you're at war, Bavaria, and if you are, then you should go and besiege them. We definitely need some more and better artillery. Yes, they've gone and besieged them. Um, helps have artillery, because then you can attack on turn one, not wait for them to bring up extra forces. Right, that's Bohemia. We're allied to you. Okay, new um oh, Albert the Third, the pigtail. <laughs> 
Okay, I wonder why he's called the pigtail. Take Budweiser. We are planning to. We are definitely planning to. All right. So they killed off. We did something there. All right. That looks like a good chance to capture Innsbruck. Now, I mean, they've got 950 men. Some strong units. Not much in the way of missiles. Uh, only one cav. So I think we can win that one and take Innsbruck. Right. Does it say why he's called the pigtail? Biography. Alright. Um, can you quickly read through that and tell me why he's called the pigtail? And I don't see anything that says why he's called the pigtail. Nope. Hmm. Interesting now. He's gotten married and he can, I think, take Innsbruck. Right. Let's get some more of those units moving up. Up to there. Right, so you're going to join with him and come up there and put in a watchtower. Right. And you can move on up there. And we can get some extra units in up here, hopefully. Alright. Milan and Bavaria are now at war. Good. Uh, Venice has got excommunicated again. Alright. They're not going to have an easy time with it. Because if you've been excommunicated, you become a target of the Crusades. Or well, you could be a target of a crusade. Yep, we're allied to you. I did get an assassin, didn't I? There he is, Vian. It's the only one I can get. But he might come in useful. Hopefully some of those blasted heretics. What about that one? 60%. Alright. Let's try to get our spy in there. He got in, he might be able to get a cheeky water resolve. Ah, uh, no. Shame, shame. Certainly worth it, worth a try. Right, if I move them into that little fort, I think they might be able to reach them next time. Let's get some cumin horse archers. Bavaria doesn't like us. Too bad. No, I am my Kaiser. Keep on moving, keep on moving. You want to recruit? Uh, yep. Yeah. So we can't recruit one X from you. Let's do the construction. All right. They will grow. No, they have a ways to go. All right. I'm going to put them on low taxation to get them to grow. Yes, I should put that one in. Probably get a message from the Pope telling me to do that at some point. Right, let's put in those defences. 
Let's do that. We're already taking care of that. And what are we doing at Venice? It's coming along. Coming along nicely. Can we get into that settlement? Uh, not a great chance. Right. Well, we've got an extra army coming up. Uh, if you take over from there, you can push for Strabi. And you can probably take otherwise at the start of the next episode.